My name is Jason Miller. And this is the wine kitchen. Comes and goes like fits and dizzy spells like a weather. We are you know, big believers in that wine and food should be shared together with friends and family. Wine should be fun because that's what it's for. You're not gonna go and have a glass of wine and then, you know, try and split the atom. Telling stories has always been a good way to communicate information. If I can tell you a story and kind of give you a little window into how I think, and in this case, how a wine tastes, I think that's, you know, a really powerful thing. Pinot Noir, by its very nature, is very fickle. A five-year-old with the promise of Christmas hanging heavy over his head, you know, is, is an angel. <laughs> You can see the glint in his eye that they just want to yell and scream and, you know, throw things. But with the Christmas hanging over, it's much more well-mannered. You know, it's gentle and soft and nice on the outside, but in its core, it's, you know, beastly and wants to, you know, run wild in the streets. That's just a good example of how we can create a little six-sentence story about a wine. Now you have something to take away. You know, even if you come back in and say, hey, I want that glass of wine that's like a five-year-old uh, at the department store, I know what you're talking about. So I think I probably read Rumpelstiltskin to my son, <laughs> you know, the, the night before I, we tasted this wine. And it just has this rich kind of luscious tapestry to it. Uh, it doesn't have a lot of oak, um, so it's still really light and delicate, and it just kind of creates this picture in your mind, and it has this beautiful golden color. And it's really refreshing and extremely, you know, lush. And I think it's, you know, comparing it to a Rumpelstiltskin, you know, made sense on some level. <laughs> Are these funny? Some people think not. Are they accurate? Some people think not. But maybe somewhere in there, it's either funny or accurate, you know, and we've done our job. Because if now, if you're relaxed, you read these, and even if you don't agree with it, it's hard for you to be uppity, you know, about it. And you can either laugh and say, that's funny, or laugh and say, that's ridiculous, but you laughed. And if it's at me, that's fine. If it's at the wine, that's fine. But now you're laughing, and you're having a good time. And I think that's, at the end of the day, that's what, any restaurant wants. If we can tell a story uh, about a wine and have all the information in it and, and have all those flavors and the descriptions in it and make it fun and, and you know, throw a little humor in it, you know, that's, that's great. That's, that's how we communicate, right? And that's how we as humans tell stories.